I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make thyme mashed potatoes. Because if you're already making mashed potatoes, why not give it a little bit of kick with something special like thyme, which pairs beautifully with potatoes. So I have our ingredients laid out here, really easy to make. I have um, two potatoes here. I have boiled two red potatoes. They have been quartered. Um, right out of the water, they're still nice and warm and hot. You definitely want them to be nice and toasty when you're making this. I have salt and pepper here to taste. Um, I have two tablespoons of butter that has been mostly melted. You want it to at least be at room temperature. I didn't have room temperature butter, so I just um, stuck it in my little toaster oven to get nice and soft. So as long as it's soft, you're good to go. And then one tablespoon of fresh thyme, chopped. So let's bring our potatoes over here. My tool of choice is a potato masher. Um, I just like the consistency that it gives. It's still a little bit chunky, just, it's nice. I, I dig it, so I mash with it. Um, let's start by adding the butter. Just slide that on over. Oh, some pepper. I am a huge pepper fan, um, salt and pepper on my potatoes. This is to taste. Um, whatever you like, whatever works for you, just always remember that you can't take any away, um, but you can always add more. That's why it's to taste. So you add a bit, you taste it. Do I like this? Add a little more or not? And that's how that goes. Um, and then I'm going to add the tablespoon of fresh thyme. Smells so delicious. So delicious. And now let's get to mashing. That's what makes these mashed potatoes. So just mash, mash, mash right in the bowl. Everything together. And you just kind of mash, you know, making sure everything's mixed up. And also to the consistency that you like. If you kind of like smash potatoes and like them to be kind of whole chunks like this, you could stop. Or if you want to keep going, and you know, mash even more, feel free. Now I've just used butter, um, you know, because I'm trying to keep the calorie count a little bit low, um, a little bit modest, that's how I tend to do it, but if you're not, you could certainly add more butter, and you could always add milk if you want it to be really, really creamy. Um, just as a note, if you're going to add milk to mashed potatoes, you want to make sure that the milk has been warmed, otherwise the cold milk will interact in, a, in an unpleasant way with the starch in the potato, and you'll get that kind of like gummy, gloopy, yucky quality that you don't want happening with your potatoes. But here we are, good to go, it smells delicious. How easy was that to make? Thyme mashed potatoes. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.